Okay, so today we're going to be answering assumptions about me too. No, that's not right. So today we're going to be answering more assumptions about me. I don't really like that either. So let's just make a start. <laughs> Hi, my name is... On July the 8th, 2020, I answered your assumptions about me and you seem to enjoy it. So I thought I would do it again, which is what this is. Now, why am I talking like I'm narrating a film? I have absolutely no idea, but let's just get on with the assumptions. So, assumptions, shall we? Tidy! I assume you like dragons. It's a bit Welshist, but there we go. But in all seriousness, I assume you're agnostic. Bit of a sore subject. No, I don't believe in God, but... I don't really know what I consider myself to be. I don't consider myself to be an atheist, even though I know that by definition an atheist is somebody who doesn't believe in God. But the way I see it, which is probably wrong, but there we go, I just see labelling yourself as an atheist as being no different to labelling yourself as any other type of religion, just on that anti-religion side. Does that make sense? But that's the answer. Aside from the other stuff people have already mentioned, I think that you're actually quite traditional, conventional, even though you might think differently due to your style, equaling cliché, and that you're a vegetarian. Somebody didn't watch the first instalment of Answering Your Assumptions About Me, did they? Where I stated, quite clearly, that I eat meat, not like that, that I enjoy meat. That's even worse. No, I'm not a vegetarian. I eat meat every day. I'm not in the way you were thinking, you dirty bugger. Insecure, but a good person. Like I could be your neighbour, but on the opposite side of the army trenches, or whatever. And in every case, I think I would be just fine, and vice versa. Insecure, but a good person. I do try to be a good person, and everybody's got certain insecurities. So what do you mean, that... Somebody who's insecure can't be a good person because you use the word but. Or am I overanalyzing this again? You're tidy. Well, that's not really an assumption, is it? But thanks! Or it could be an assumption if you're assuming I'm tidy. Hmm. You're actually a sweet guy underneath that harsh exterior. Well, I can't help the way I look. Or can I? I kind of could. I suppose I could grow my hair out, or what's left of it, old man style. I suppose I could have chosen not to have such visible tattoos. But why would anybody want to do that? Why would I want to look just like every other middle-aged bloke? That would just be boring. I'm used to people judging me on my appearance. It's got its uses. It's got its downfalls. But there we go. I assume you enjoy roller coasters. Yes, I do. I mean, come on, who doesn't? Not so much now as I used to when I was a young whippersnapper, but uh, yeah, I enjoy roller coasters. You like pickle onions. Are you asking me or telling me, or is that what you assume about me? But either way, yes I do. You look like you once had an ambition to be in music, but then wasn't too good at it, so did some comedy on YouTube videos instead. What makes you think that? <laughs> I assume you're a movie lover. You seem to put a lot of well-placed references in your videos. Yeah, I like a good movie. No more than the next man, but no less. But yes, I do enjoy a film. You seem like someone from my and my husband's group of friends. Sarcastic, funny, tough, smart. You'd probably fit in well, my friend. And you drive on the same side of the road as us. So seems legit. Thank you. I think. Maybe. Possibly. I am sarcastic, aren't I? Does it show in my videos? I do try to control it, because being so sarcastic does get me into trouble sometimes, because not everybody gets it. For example, if I meet somebody and I want to gauge if they're my type of person, I will generally see how far I can push insult in them, and if they take it in the way it was meant, as a joke, then they're my kind of person. If they don't, then they're not. 
Interesting question. Do you believe in anything supernatural? Have you ever experienced anything or seen anything that you can't explain? No, and no. And I firmly believe that the supernatural is a lord of old tosh. Unless, of course, somebody can present irrefutable evidence to the contrary. <laughs> Lots of big words there, but you didn't know I had it in me, did you? You like the Peaky Blinders. I can tell with the cool hat and the title of your channel. But you need a real Peaky Blinders hat, brother. You would look so boss. Also, you have an awesome sense of humour and are the master at debunking Flat Earther. I should get a Peaky Blinders hat, shouldn't I? Yeah, I've got a few of them. The reason I don't wear hats in my videos anymore is because this room is absolutely boiling hot. 99% of the time, so I cannot stand to wear hats for as long as it takes me to record the videos. Sorry, but I do have Peaky Blinders hats. Real ones. Like this. You don't like sports and don't even watch football. You vape, are married, have a son and you're a grandpa. I assume you're an exotic pet enthusiast. You like rock music, love motorcycles, you're a summer man and your star sign I would guess would be Gemini or Scorpio like me. Four smiley faces. You can't stand stupid people, you seem stubborn at the best of times, you love good food and enjoy the freedom of the open road. Most are just guessing, but how did I do? Well, Annie, you did very well. And better than most, in fact. You're right, I don't like sport at all. In fact, I'd go as far as to say I hate sport. Rock music, it's okay, it's not my favourite. And yes, I do love motorcycles. No, I'm not an exotic pet, pet enthusiast <laughs> at all. I've got a little stupid dog who I think is defective, but she's my pal. Yes, I'm a summer man because who wants to freeze their nads off, especially when you ride a motorcycle, and I am a Scorpio. Stupid people, yeah, that's bang on. Probably the most accurate thing you've said. I've got a really, really low tolerance for stupid people. Which is why I hate flat earthers and other woo peddlers as much as I do. And stubbornness. I am very, very stubborn. Just ask anybody who knows me. If I don't want to do something, I am not doing it. For anybody or any reason. Sorry, not sorry. So well done, Annie. I think you're a flat earther pretending to be a glober in an attempt to discredit the other flat earthers so that eventually you can take over as the one supreme flat earther. There can be only one. No, definitely not. Uh, do I look that stupid? No, don't answer that. <laughs> but absolutely no. Mark Sargent does a fine job as king of the idiots. I think you once walked from Calais to Sketi in the rain. Hmm, walked? <laughs> what do I look like? No. Now, if you'd said driven, probably yes, but walked, definitely not. You bought a bottle of shampoo in the mid-90s and you still have half a bottle left. Huh. Bit hurtful. But don't worry. I can take it. Creaky reminds me of a hired leg breaker thug who does collecting for the mafia. No, I'm not. Obviously. Do I sound Italian? <laughs> And this is why you should never judge a book by its cover, because I'm the direct opposite. If you can be the opposite of a leg-breaking thug. Your parents are Scottish and Australian, so that makes you Welsh. You have a pet sheep. No, my parents are Welsh. Obviously. And not everybody in Wales has a pet sheep. S some of us do. But I've got a dog, I said a few comments ago. I don't get it. Alright, oh, you're... It's a joke. <laughs> don't. Don't do that again, please. You look like you keep reptiles as either pets or possibly a food source. Wait, what? You think I eat reptiles? And why do people keep bringing up reptiles? You know I'm sensitive about it. Stop bringing up reptiles. I may or may not have had a bearded dragon called Dave, who I may or may not have either let get too hot or too cold. I've never been able to figure it out. But Dave's no longer with us. Just by looking at you, I'd assume you have a craft brewery or a small vegan cake shop. With adding audio to the equation, I would cross the vegan cake maker off as you were also fun. I'm afraid I don't get that one. At all. Of course I'm not a vegan. Do I look like a sanctimonious douchebag to you? 
You're a big fan of people who film shaky content in their car, because if they do it in the house, his wife calls bullshit. Huh. <laughs> CC. <laughs> yes, I am. Don't have to work because NASA pay you enough to live on. <laughs> this must be another joke. <laughs> because uploading content to YouTube isn't a real job, obviously. <laughs> you know, it takes no time at all. You don't let anyone try to bullshit you, or you call out story toppers. What's a story topper? Do you mean the type of person that if I say I've been to Tenerife, they've been to Elevenary? Yes, I do. And I enjoy doing it. And also, if somebody is blatantly lying to my face, I will say straight back to their face, you are lying. Not everybody likes that. <laughs> You were planning a bike day out to Aberystwyth and having fish and chips for lunch on the prom. How do you know that? Because my son and I are actually planning a long distance bike day out slash overnight stay out. But how do you know? But yes, the idea has been floated around. And now I'm wondering, have I mentioned it in any of my live streams or other videos? If not, Stop spying on me. I try not to assume anything about people because what you assume is often wrong. Mark Swaby, Swaby, I always mispronounce your name and I apologize most profusely. But if this was a competition and there was a right answer, this would be it. Because you're absolutely bang on the money. Assumptions are often wrong. You're Welsh. Well done. But I did ask you to leave your assumptions about me, not state the obvious. <laughs> but that being said, maybe it isn't as obvious as I think it is because I get some people asking me if I'm Jamaican or Scottish or anything other than Welsh. I'll assume that you're a tolerant man as there is no way I could repetitiously watch all that nuff that you have to. Am I tolerant or am I just a glutton for punishment? The jury's still out on that one. You're bald to visualize what a sphere looks like. Ah, yeah. I may be bald, but who's got the last laugh? I don't have to waste money on pff, haircuts, shampoo, conditioner, and combs. I know one thing. I'm older than you, and I don't give a shit about most things. Fall laughing till you cry emojis. That's not an assumption. Unless, of course, you're assuming that you're older than me. In which case, you should have said, I assume I'm older than you. Because if you know, then it's not an assumption, is it? Silly Billy. You're nice. And you're funny. Well, thank you, Sam Shivers. Why so cold? Uh -huh. Maybe I'm not funny. Flat earthers don't think I'm funny. Well, that was fun. What did you think? Let me know down in the comment section and don't forget to give the video a like and possibly share it, if I may be so bold. I really enjoy making content like this. It's a nice change from what I usually do because there's only so much you can take of flat earthers and other morons. So if there is anything you'd like to see me make a video about that isn't necessarily within my niche, then drop me an email, thecreakyblinder at gmail.com, or leave a comment on this video, or follow me on one of my social medias. Just search Creaky Blinder. I've got the same name everywhere. Amazing. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and bye-bye. All right, all right, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the Creaky Blinder.